and this is this is really big for us as well because we get so much farm here we get this we get yeah. this this is this is like a perfect brand start to be honest yes because we're getting so much so this is a very good start to the game what's up everyone i'm coach leo also known as babip i've been a professional jungler for the past six years played at worlds four times and have plenty of coaching experience if you're interested in fast tracking your learning and achieving your desired rank book a private coaching session or join the community by heading over to the jungle gap discord which will be in the description below so the first 15 minutes, I don't know if I explained to you how the session kind of runs, but for the first 15 minutes, I kind of want to go through your goals, go through your op GG. Yeah. And Perfect. yeah, so what are kind of like your goals in league? What are you trying to... Yeah, so um, there are like two goals right now for me. The first one is just to get the hang of jungling again, because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing yep. since the new season has started. And the other thing is, uh, with some friends, we joined like a fun amateur league um, for the next two or three months. Yep. So I have to um, try hard a bit and play actual junglers, because um, <laughs> most of the time I'm one of those uh, Shaco OTPs, <laughs> and I can't play Shaco against like real enemies. Yeah. Or, like, okay. tournament. So I'm trying to learn the good junglers again. Yep. So this is the one part I'm trying right now to do, and the other one is just getting good again in jungle because I feel like I'm doing everything wrong the last weeks. I see, I see. Okay, that's definitely something we can... I mean, I can also suggest you, uh, the champions, to pick up as well. Um, yeah. So what have you been playing recently? Well, um, last season I played... A Mostly Nunu, Shako, Zack. Yep. And everything in between. Like, I played a lot of shit and climbed from silver. Like, I was always hard stuck silver to plot. Yep. Last season, I mean, and now. That's a pretty good sign, I think. How, how fast was yeah. the, the silver climb? How long did you say that took? Silver to. Uh, plot, one did month, you say? Probably. Like, I just rushed through gold completely. Yeah. Early. Yeah, okay. I had see. a big win streak and then I was stuck and plot again. So um your main goal yeah. is to just do you have any um like solo queue rank aspirations that we can kinda think about, you know, kinda like that's the goal. Just to have something not, not really just to get it high as high as I can, but just to just that's to improve not in my main focus because okay. yep. lately I'm playing a lot with my friends, like we're flexing most of the time. Yep. And we have one master player, one iron player, so yeah, as okay. long as you can do something, it works right, just right. fine. Yeah. Um, so, do you mind uh, linking me your op GG? And we yeah, can, sure. We can think about that 5v5, like there's competitive champions. So, I mean, this is my main account where I went to plot. Um, but this one has a very shit win rate right now because... Like I said, we're playing flex a lot, and uh, I'm playing with my girlfriend and a friend of hers, and they are not that good, so we're losing a lot right now. <laughs> yeah. And this is the account I'm playing on when I play Solon Q. I'm trying to get better right now. So yeah. one is my fun account, the other one is my try hard account, if okay. you can call it like. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm liking I'm liking what I I see already on the champion pool. Um. Zin. Jarvan, yeah, and Briar, and Brand. There's all like, I mean, your champo is really good from what I can see already. Yeah, like Xin and Xin was my first champ that I picked up when I started League, like back in the day. Okay. And Brand was my main lane champ when I played support and mid lane a bit. Oh, that's good. So I definitely think you should keep playing Brand jungle then, because yeah, Brand is super OP right now. Yeah, and it's pretty easy. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like. I feel like my work has been cut off. I me mean, already. I think you already kind of seem like you know um, what kind of champ pool that. And and I know you said that you want to, you know, you just want to play well for your five v five games yeah. and just get as as good as you can. Um, yes. So I'm I'm not gonna say like oh only play like four champions or something. Like I feel like how you're going right now is good, so I wouldn't really change anything. Um, play what you like playing. If you want to play like Zach as well. If it's if that's something that like you used to play or, you know, you can definitely make Zach in the meta right now it can work. 
Yeah. Um, but if you want to keep playing what you're playing, I think your champ pool is actually quite good. You have Bran as an AP champ, and Zinn and Briar are just like completely like giga disgusting right now. Yeah. Um. So yeah, um, Java I like is this. like my favorite safe right now. Yeah, and then I think jo what did sorry, what did you say about Jarvan? It's like my I don't know, can you call it fail safe? Like if I don't fail know safe? what to play with. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think that's good because he is kind of always like solid. Yeah, I can see what you mean by that. Um, but I think Jarvan is also one of those picks that, you know, when you see the champ like the champs that have no escape uh like where you have a lot of ult um impact it's good to pick Java. Yeah. So as soon as you see like the Vagar in this game, um the Janna, it's it's not bad. Yeah. Exactly. Um Okay, well I think we can just queue up. Um one thing I have to ask is on the uh live coaching when I'm just watching you play, would you rather me um kinda let you play and not say much? Or would you rather kind of some guidance and some pointers and things like that? Um, Cause I some people find it distracting or... Okay. No, if I play yeah. something like Brand or Briar or Draven, I can talk a lot because yeah. I don't have to focus that much on like... Yeah, that makes sense. ...the gameplay itself. So I would say I will just queue one of them and then we can talk more. Yep, okay. So I will just share my screen, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we'll run it through. Because I, I want to run through the champ select with you as well. Yep. So let me check what champs do we have here. Like I have Sin, I have Brand, Raya, Javan. Nocturne as well, but I Giga suck at Nocturne. I don't know why. <laughs> just so <laughs> extend every time. It's not my champ. It is, I mean, it is One quite different to what you've been playing. I'd say he's he's kind of like similar to Brand, where you're mostly just full clearing and waiting for yeah. your, um, you know, you're mostly just playing on your timings where you have alt or, you know, as Brand, after you finish your full clear, that's when you play on those timings. But if Brand is something that you want to explore more, then we can do that. But you can play one of your... Um, <coughs> Zin, Briar, Brand, Jarvan. I think that'll be good. Yeah. Those champs can always fit into probably one of the comps that you'll verse. Yeah. Um, I would say preferably I would go Brand because I have played Zin and Briar a lot so we can review one of those games in the VOD later. Okay, yeah. And I don't know if I have that many brand wads right now, but let's see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see kind of what. I mean, if you want to just play brand, I think you can always just pick him. To be honest, and you are picking early, oh. so. Um, I can just try to get last pick. Perfect. Well, I could just first pick brand now. Let's see, let's see. Um, I mean, yeah, it's preferably, I think, picking later is obviously always better. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think you definitely can just pick brand. From From what I know, there's not really any hard counters or hard matchups. Well, Nocturne is a bit annoying. But otherwise, it's fine. Mostly, I just ban Mordekaiser anyway because I'm, like, too stupid to play against him. And I yeah. hate to get ulted by him when I gank, so. Yeah. Mauka is a pretty good ban as well right now. Because he's also pretty disgusting. <laughs> yeah, as a util, Rail and Mauka are definitely two. two the, th those are probably the two best of the utility junglers. Yes. Or I can just first. Yeah, you can just pick. I, I mean, you can pick Brand here. It's not bad yes. into. Fiddle. So have you been, let me see, have you been running the ghost? Yeah, okay, you've been running the ghost brand, that's good. Yeah. It depends on the champs I face, but yeah, mostly yeah, yeah. I try that's, to get ghost. That's good, that's good. That's good that you think about some games where you verse, like, I don't know what a good example is. Maybe if you verse Jarvan, <laughs> like, having Flash is probably better. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 
So do you watch? And against some champs uh, that I know I can't dodge the shit they do, I will just take flash. Yeah, exactly. Just like but unavoidable damage that you need to flash. It's good to think yeah. about taking flash. Do you take you, you take the CDR, the the rune setup, right? Yeah. Just to make sure, yeah. Should be. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Um, so who do you watch? I think the watch? standard runes are pretty good. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. You watch um. Yeah, no, those runes are good. I think I think Relentless Hunter might be better. So in the red tree. Isn't it? So, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, this one, I think this one is best. Um, yeah. So who do you watch? Do you watch much like Agurin for brand? Like, did you learn yeah. brand of someone? Because yeah, I think Agurin is probably the best brand. Well, actually, I played brand before he started it. Oh, so you invented it? Because, nah, not well. I did. <laughs> when it was off meta, I played it a lot. Yeah. But then I think Broxa has played it in some YouTube video, and then Agarin took it up also, and then yeah. everyone started playing it. But well, I watched that a little bit, but I got the clear pretty much down already. So that was quite fun. Yeah. Okay, so let's start talking about this game. We're on the red side. Yes. The top right of the map. Um... So I want you to quickly just think about your, like how your team is going to win this game and how you're going to play towards, you know, your own win condition and your style, like brand style. So I want you to go through each of the lanes and just think, just give me like a summary, a summary of how each lane is going to play out. Okay. So top lane, uh, I already don't know because Aurelion Sol top lane is like so random. Yep. I don't know what to do, but. Riven should stomp him earlier, I guess. Him, just, he's just like a mage, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I guess if Riven can play, she will just run him over. Good. Um, then we have mid. This is pretty much a skill matchup, I would say. Because Kayana is kind of disgusting if he can play her. But if not, she will get stomped. And Yon as well. Yep, so mid is very important in this game. Um... And bot lane, Smolder is always a coin flip in my games right now because no one knows how to play him. But um, just from looking at the lanes, I would say if Lucian and Huawei can't get an early lead, they will lose it. Probably. Good. Yep. Uh, I so always I take blue, but I'm not sure if it's correct. Yeah, blue, blue, is, blue is best, yeah. Because you already have the slow from Rylai's. Um Yes, yeah, so I would say your best bet actually in this game is to part from full clear from bot to top. Obviously, Brand likes starting in blue. Yeah. And, you know, the reason people don't pick mages top is because it's very susceptible to just dying, right? Because it's a long lane. Yeah. Ribbon can chase him down. His E cooldown is like 22 seconds at level 3. So when he gets level 3, yeah. his E cooldown is so long. So I definitely think you can play for also Grubs this game because you have two, you know, Bruiser split push champions. So Grubs will be very yeah, good for no. you. I can take Rubs like so fast. Yeah, exactly. So this is how you kind of start to formulate how you're going to win the game. Just that little process yeah. we went through. And yeah, like you said, I think, I also think this bot lane is kind of like, um, I think they're not going to be the most important thing in the game. If your Yone and your Riven is strong this game and you're, you being solo AP, you, the, the top side will carry this game. Yeah, hopefully. So, like the Lucian can't really play versus this top side. They actually know I'm trying to kite the blue buff. So as we're parting, uh, I didn't really see. There wasn't any obvious sign of where he's starting, the fiddlestick. So yeah, I let's just guess assume he we don't know yet. Part. We're kind of playing two full clear junglers, so I think at the end of our clears, we'll know where each other are once the scuttles start getting contested. 
And while you're clearing, I just want to I want you to keep taking little tabs at mid and top with your map. Yeah, oh no, I fucked that up. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes yeah, we tr sometimes we we try and go too fast in the brand. <laughs> I do that as well. Yeah. It's okay. It won't affect the clear speed that much. It traded. It. That's good. Okay, Fiddle showed. Let's look mid. What buff does he have? He came from bot side. Okay, so he's red. So his yes. top side is up. So he did three bot side camps, and now he's going to. He's slow. Yeah, we can probably I catch him on his blue, right? It. Yeah, we can probably catch him on a, on his blue after. Do I can't here. No, 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 keep right. going, yeah, yeah, keep, keep farming, but then run straight to his blue here. Pop a pot, and then look at top lane. Is top lane low HP? Okay, Nothing. that's fine. Kiana has first move out of mid, so maybe we have to be careful that, about that. Just drop a water and play for crab. Yeah, careful, careful. Careful of Kiana. Run to ASOL, run up, run up, run up. Into ASOL, top side, because they're moving on you. Yeah, yeah, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You may have to pop ghost. Just run out. I think you're fine. Fight really slowly. Your Yone is coming. So if we fight really slowly, we can fight. We can fight. We can fight. Very slowly. Good, good, good. Careful now. Careful now. He will go back. Okay, that's good. You can pop down to the crab. Go to the crab. Removal. Maybe look what this guy's doing. Okay, crab and then we base. Can we kill Fiddle here? It's we maybe can kill Fiddle, yeah, if you go around with your uh with your Yone. Smite this. Okay, back, back, back. Oh, kill. No flash. Nice, nice, nice. You can take blue, take blue, take blue. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Take Grom too. Just make sure you're looking at the mid and top lanes, okay, while you're taking this. I don't think it's risky, but... He already starts trash talking me. I love it. <laughs> I think we can also just take Grubs here as well. We can be really greedy here. Yeah, so go to Grubs. I think the, re the reason we can take Grubs here is because we know he started bot side, right? Yeah, and if he's so not he's already coming, camp. yeah, so he's on his bot side camps. So maybe ping that he's on his bot side camps while you do this. Just danger ping. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're going to take all of this and then we're just going to hit the base straight away. Rand is so disgusting on grubs. Yeah, this is why he's S tier. How strong do you think the grubs are? Because I heard a lot of people already say they're not I, that great. I think grubs are strong i think it's stronger than dragon um i think getting five or six grubs is super op yep and then just path from Should have bought a crystal too. Just path from bot to top <laughs> again that's perfect yeah i think grubs Did you always buy dark seal here oh yeah of course yeah i definitely would always buy dark seal here for sure oh fiddle is here I guess. Yeah, he took one. So just go wolves. Don't worry about it. Just go wolves. Just leave. We want to try and cl clear all the way up again as soon as we can. So we don't care about anything on bot side right now, okay? We just full clear up. We full yeah. clear up and we look to fight around top side again. Oh, run. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to clear up and then we're going to take his grump again. Try and when you're walking between camps, try and have a look at lanes. So look mid right now. You see when that fighting is going on? I want you to like look with your camera there. Because it might yeah. be like you can, you know, react and then maybe that Kiana could have died, you know? Yeah. So Riven died somehow. And yeah, we're just gonna go to his Grump here. Maybe That's ward. the best ward placement over, here right now. Uh, over like here? the next, yes, exactly, right there. Okay, so careful of now, careful of Kiana moving. Yeah. 
We may have to play safe here. Keep running out. Keep running out. They can kill you. If Kiana is moving. Just base and take blue again. Yeah, I base. Guess. Yep. Okay, so that's good. So, so do now I go the belt here or do belt, I crystal belt, belt. dark steel? Belt. Get okay. the belt. Yeah. And change the sweeper to red. You can. Yeah. And that's good. Okay. So now we're going to take dragon on this round. So because the fiddlesticks didn't take dragon last round, that... So he he had one option last round to take dragon or to be at his top camps, and he chose to go to his top camp. So now we get dragon. Okay. Do I take dragon? Straight dragon, straight dragon, straight dragon. Yep. And then we'll full clear up again with all of our camps uh, respawning. Ping on the way to dragon, just so your team knows what's happening. Should play. But you can still solo it. Fiddle's top side, you're fine. Yeah. 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 Maybe he takes your red, but we don't care. We just full clear up. I'm pretty sure he said my red. Smite this and then go to your and then just full clear up again. And while yep. you're clearing, just have a look at have a look at some lanes. Like right now, have a look at mid. Okay, yeah, what's happening there? Nothing. Okay, back to camps. So that's like the first fundamental I think that something that you could think about while you're clearing. Just having um just panning your camera over some lanes sometimes when something is happening. Blue, blue, blue. Shouldn't I take my camps like in order so no. they respawn? I mean, you could you you could have done blue grump wolves, but yeah, you just want to make an efficient path to top side, right? The the difference between grump and wolf spawning is it's not that important. Well, I feel like on brand I'm so fast that it sometimes actually matters. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That is true. But we're gonna spend a lot of top side, uh, time topside now, so it won't matter. Because the grubs is what we're playing for next. So how long until the grubs spawn? Yeah, they're up. They are there. Oh, so Fiddle took this. So run straight to grubs. Maybe help your ribbon. They're on ribbon. Guess yeah, this guy dead. can live. Yeah, he's dead. So Fiddle will go to his blue here. Kiana is moving now. A bit slow. Oh, I hate. Yeah, take the take the health. You're fine. Oh, run, run, run. Uh. Nice, nice. You're alive. You're alive. Good. Oh, you kill it. Oh, close. Should have stayed tempted, but I don't know. Leandri is next or Boots next? Um, like Leandre's the Andre's component. Yeah. Just build an amp, yeah. Run straight back to the grubs. Yes. So we're doing pretty good this game. I think just in those situations again, we just have to, when we're fighting someone, we have to keep track of where their solo lane is are moving, right? So the Kiana yeah. keeps moving. Yone doesn't really seem to want to help you ever, so something we have to just consider. I think... Um, Oh, well, yeah, so he did take your red, too. Smite this and maybe I get guess. ready to help Riven. She's fighting. Oh, take the top wave, take the top wave. Farm top, farm top, farm top, farm top. Yeah. If Riven comes here, then we can look to kill this guy. Yep. Take the... Oh, he cancelled him. Maybe can... Oh, you're just out of range. Just okay, go. back to the crab. Crab wraps and then clear to bot, I yep, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If mid is fighting, maybe look mid. Oh. Okay, take the crab. Look mid, look mid, they're fighting. Okay, nice. Fiddle's top. Okay, yeah, just clear it. Clear back to bot side now. So you see when there's two icons start clashing together, I always oh. want you to look. I always want you to look yeah. with you, like with your camera. I guess that's the main point of me being a little bit tired right now. Yeah. But I'm not fast enough on that one. Normally yeah. I would look more, but I guess to, to not that much. I guess yeah, I understand. 
I mean, it, it it can be, you know, it can be something t difficult to get used to as well. But once you, you know, it becomes na like natural, as, as natural as clearing as brand, you know, you won't have to really yeah. think about it. And that's something that you should kind of strive towards. Okay, so what is next on the map? I think we maybe can look bot here. We have nothing to do, so we can either look middle bot. Let's sweep once we get to past this pink. Okay, Kiana there. Nice. Let's just fight with the bot lane. It could be Fiddles here soon. The dragon is spawning in 30. Yeah. So Kiana will have to go back mid. Sweep into Tribush with your sweep. So clear some vision yeah. before dragon. Yep. Well, it's a pink ward. And go, go gank mid now. Just gank Kian on this wave. Oh, bot lane is going in. Yeah, yeah, look look for mid. Nice, you got him. He's dead, now to dragon. Nice. And now we're gonna take dragon and then we're just gonna base. I like that you're pulling out the dragons, it's good. Especially against Fiddle. Yeah. So you can't just ult me over the wall. Nice. Guess Kiana is coming. Yeah. I think it's too deep. I don't think he can kill. Yeah, nice. Huh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Good stun. Okay. Yeah, I guess run back to base is fast though. Well, it goes up as well. So. That's good. I like that awareness was much better than others. Yeah, Leandris. Oh, you can go boots too. Boots is, boots is probably better. Yeah, boots, boots, boots. Nice. And Is now we just clear from bot to top. Yep, we're gonna full clear. How again. do I go bot clear and bot gank? Yes. Um, go they bot camps, and then if you think you can kill, you go bot. But I think, let's just see if they play to like dive this guy, we go there. If they don't, then we clear. So they're not. Oh, go bot, go bot, 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 bot. They're fighting. Ooh. Okay, nothing now, nothing, nothing, nothing. And we're going to be playing for Rift Herald next. So any time that yeah. you are wondering where to clear from, defend mid. Yep. Whenever you're wondering where to, you know, part out a base from, you kind of just want to clear toward the next objective, right? So in this case, yeah. it was Rift Herald, so we want to clear from bot to top. If it was Dragon, we would have wanted to clear from top to bot. Go help River. Ever He's fighting. about lanes when Maybe deciding where to go? Think about lanes. Ah, uh, yes, you you kind of want to part towards your win condition, which would be top side this game. Fighting. Yeah, we can fight this. We can fight this. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Switch to Kiana. She's dead. That was very good that you switched to Kiana there. Okay, we just go. We can look to t take camps. So take his grump. Oh yeah, kill this guy too. Didn't he Yezzy? Oh, I have no idea. Fuck. I still okay, thought okay. I had a third. Proc, no. Proc, yeah. Oh. yeah. I bet. I guess that guy's just a bit... He's a bit too tanky. I yeah. think the initial, the initial damage on him was good, but then we just back out obviously after we know we can't kill him. Yeah. Okay, so what to do out of base? Buy a Dark Seal. So it's fine even to buy a Dark Seal right now when you have this kind of gold. 
So Fiddle will take the Rift Herald and we will play for Dragon in two minutes. So we'll part from top to bot now. They're already talking too much for my liking. That's good. I like that Insta mute. I would have done the same. But sometimes I think it's funny. Like if the enemy is tilted and types all the time, I think it's really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It's probably the Shaco gamer in me. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, I this always get react. This fiddle's in thing. Nice. Take his top camps, take his top camps. Blue. His blue side, yeah. Take them, take them. So he didn't he didn't take them, he went straight to the Rift Herald, so we're gonna take them. We're gonna eat good. And wolves next, if they're up. Nope, nope. they're not up. Go uh, scuttle. And then think about that dragon timer. One minute. You can also see, like, as Bran, you can see dragon as a win condition, so getting soul. Yeah. So that's something that you always want to stay on top of. Whenever dragon is spawning, you want to have it in your mind that you're going to be there. And also tell your team to, you know, you can spam ping the dragon. So like start spam pinging the dragon right now, for example. Like this is a good habit to get into to make sure that you know everyone is thinking about it. Yeah, I feel like I'm pinging way more if I'm not talking that much. Like in the coaching scenario. You with me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would normally like spam ping all the time. That's good. Spam ping is OP. Right now I think more about me than about my team. Yeah, that's fine too. I mean to put yourself in the carry position is fine. I think Can this is something. looking... They yeah, no, I just just clear, just clear. Oh, putting damage down is good, nice. Yeah, you're really strong actually, keep fighting. This guy's dead too. Nice. Yeah, your 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 brand combos are good. I can tell that you've played this champ before, and that's also like the the power of the how I always talk about you know AD with AP. So you, oh okay. Oh, how did that not hit? These stuns are looking good. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised myself that it works <laughs> that well, but yeah, you look it looks like you're too good for this elo. This look <laughs> I don't know what elo this is, but it is gold one plot four, right? Okay, okay. But it was never higher than plot four, so actually my at least the elo riot thinks I'm in. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna think about basing soon because we have 3,000 gold, but we can take wolves yeah. first, we can be greedy. And these are the kinds of timings where you can be greedy because there's no ob objectives on the map, right? Yeah. So this is a time where you can just be greedy, you have all your camps. You can even go take scuttle if you want as well. The bot scuttle. Take the bot scuttle and then we're gonna base. <clears throat> Especially when you're playing these kinds of junglers, you wanna be really greedy. So I just finished Leandries yep. and then Leandries and then Shadow Flame. Already? I think Shadow oh, Flame. Shadow yeah. So anytime that you're soul AP, you want to build Magic Pen. Yeah. And then, sense. yeah. So if you had like more AP on your team, you'd build like Death Cap, Void Staff, for example. Yeah. So what's the really big difference between Shadow Flame and Void Staff? I don't really. Shadow well, Flame. I never is, thought about it. Shadow Flame is flat Magic Pen, and Void Staff is percent Magic Pen. So if the enemy team builds magic magic resist, I think yeah. void stuff is thirty percent or forty percent of their magic resist gets shredded. Whereas yes. shadow flame is a flat amount, so you can obviously assume that if someone builds uh, magic resist, percent is better than flat. Whereas if they yeah. don't build, flat is better. So where do we go now? There's no okay, lane so fighting. Top, no so camps. top tower would be the next objective. So just run up top side. I think I don't think about tower objectives that yeah. much. And also like Baron when I'm passing. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, and also Baron is up, so you kinda wanna be on the top side of the map. <clears throat> but this is like mid mid game where you kinda just wanna try and be still farming 
everything that you can, but also playing towards an objective. And in this case, it would just be top tower. You can even look to dive this guy. <clears throat> yeah, and this guy is like, he has a magnet yeah, to his gun or something. <laughs> you just keep pushing, yeah. keep pushing, keep pushing. Push next wave too. Okay. We just push, we don't care. <clears throat> and after this wave, we're going to back. Because we're not going to get a towel. So back, oh. back now. Ooh, kill this guy. Yes, Sonia, it's okay. Run, 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 run. What? Okay, I had that miss. Okay, we base now. They're trying to they're trying to see you lose with these Qs. I think they're coming for you, run. Oh. Okay, close, close. Should have went more to the side, I guess. Yeah, so one thing I will say, like... LOL. Okay, you can... <laughs> How you the fuck did I kill him here? This is Brando's OP. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing, while you are sitting in the side lane, you kind of have to... Your eyes have to be glued to the map to see yes. that people are coming for you off the mid play. So you kind of have to just leave straight away. And you're never actually going to kill that tower. So it's all about just pushing yeah. the wave and getting the gold. I think our team is inting, so we have to maybe start grouping. But the thing is, we have Dragon Soul in one minute, so this is good. And this is where our win condition is going to come into play. So they I could have be on enough Baron. time to get like. Yeah, you have enough time to. It. Yeah, you have enough time to clear down. Like to be honest, you can probably clear all three top side camps, but they might be on Baron. So okay, then they're, they're not yeah. on Baron. Solution might be trolling. You can also. Oh, they're trolling here. Yeah, try and fight slowly. Yeah, yeah, fight, 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 fight. I oh, hate geez. Fiddle Fear. It's yeah. so annoying. This is good though, because their tempo is very bad for Dragon now. So, spam ping Dragon. So, everyone comes in groups. And we're just going to ARM until Dragon. Okay, this guy's trolling again. Hopefully, our team can follow up. Okay, our ADC is blind. This is good. Keep keep playing that range. Keep playing that range. That long range. Nice. Okay, now go dragon, dragon, dragon. Yeah, focus the dragon mostly. Something is teeping top. I hate it when they just Fiddle's stand dead. There. Fiddle is dead though, so in this case it's okay. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. Just and if it was alive, pulling it out is definitely the play. Yeah, nice. And now base for your item. I always want to train them to like play the macro better. Or like yeah, yeah. micro? I don't know. Macro, yeah. Macro. It's macro to pull out a drag? I guess it would be a decision that you're making. So yeah, it would be macro. So um, what do I go next here? Like void uh, you stuff? Can just, or you can go death cap or, or zonias. I think just go death cap. You're going to carry this game. I'm greedy. Yeah. I mean, as Brand, I feel like this game, like, you already kind of have enough, hel enough health from Rylai's and uh, Leandri's, so yeah. I think you don't need another defensive item. Just need to make sure that you don't get stun locked by, like, Fiddle or Keanu. Yeah. That's the only thing that you have to look out for in these fights. Keep playing the spacing that you're playing, though, it's good, the way you're playing fights. How much do I farm now and how much do I fight you because I'm like you keep strongest farming. one? Yeah, no, okay. you keep farming and then basically what you want to do is you just want to farm and then when some action is happening, you just simply, you know, run over there. Are they moving to Nash? I don't know. Be a bit careful here until people start showing. So he's just taking my camps now. Perfect. Yeah, we can just, we can just farm top or anything really. The whole map, don't care about what you farm, you can farm lanes too. Farm his jungle, farm lanes, farm top lane, like just run top right now and just actually group with the team group. There's gonna be a fight here. We can start Baron here, I think. Start Baron. Oh, you haven't actually thought about it. Yeah, Riven is chasing this guy, so if we just hit this Baron, we can finish, but our team is. We can just two minute. 
And then after Baron, just ping top lane. We're just gonna siege top. As five. Yep. Do we have ghost here? Yeah, pop ghost, pop ghost. We're gonna fight. Oh, oh. look at Fiddle. Trolling. Play really slowly around your own. You guys can still win this, just play slow. Yeah, okay. Just go farm. Farm time. His whole bot side is up, so you can run straight to bot side. So push mid and run straight into his bot side camps. We're gonna take every gold on the map right now. Don't care about the fight, just go bot side camps. Farm bot. Okay. Maybe his Krugs are up. Keep checking. Maybe there's a fight mid. Careful. Yeah, yeah, give yeah, me, give me. Have. This is good for us. This is good. This is good. Fight, 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 fight. Nice ult. Oh, this is just you. Yeah, good, good, good. I think he's dead. He's dead yeah. as well. Dead. Nice. Push mid. So as soon as... You see how we were going for farm there? And then as soon as something is happening, <coughs> we run straight. Yeah. Kill Fiddle, he's trolling. I'm trolling. Oh. No, you're fine, you're fine. You're tanky. His blue is up, so... Do I take it? Or yeah, do I have it, my take it. Just go take it. I don't know what that, that guy's still trolling from the start. Yeah, farm. Well, all all like three blue side. I mean, that's exactly... I'm fighting. That's exactly the thing though, you don't follow that ribbon and die, right? This is the difference between how you're going to win more games and why you're so strong in this game, right? Because you just keep farming, yeah. don't die. When other guys are dying, we just... Yeah, they're TPing. Oh. We can kill this guy, he's, he's trolling. The ASL. Yeah, yeah, kill, 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 kill. And then we have to run after this. Oh shit, he has Seraphs again, never mind. We still got him, nice. Death Cup. I think we can buy yeah, it straight like up. 4,000 gold. Yeah. So and when do I, I sell my Dark Seal for like a component? You have, seven, you have seven stacks right now? Yes. Okay, just it keep it. It should be more than a component, right? Yeah, just keep it, just keep it. But do we go last? Um, we probably will go Zonyas, I think, last, so we can just avoid... We can go Banshees as well. I think Banshees is good, yeah. Go Banshees. What do Banshees you think about Star Search on Brand? Still not sure if I like it. I think once that item got nerfed, it kind of became a bit, a bit bad. It's good on probably like just the like like the super one shot burst champions yeah. like Gragas, Echo, Nidalee. Really good on them. But for Leandries, well, I need right now. I'm also like a super burst champ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely are. It's just, um, you're more like anyone that builds Leandries. I don't think you should build Storm Surge. So just think about okay. it like that. You want to build exactly. raw AP. Like, death cap is really good. Okay, so we definitely should not lose this fight. Just think about knowing where Fiddlesticks is. Try and find Fiddlesticks. Yes. And just stay a little bit away from my team, I guess. So he will ult them and not me. Yep. So we found Fiddlesticks. Yep, keep throwing up perks like that. Anything like that lands, it's like devastating for the enemy. The team's looking for something. We don't want to flip 50-50, we would rather fight. So well, if I'm here with like my friends, I would just say start it and then stop it again. Okay, well that guy's just dead. Take it, take the... We want to try and take the elder. Take the elder, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Don't care about your team. Just take the elder. Keep taking it, you can solo it. Yeah, we'll just move like here if yeah, I yeah, can't hold yeah, it over the wall. Yeah, that's good. If it's yeah. I like that. Do I farm or do I push? Push, they're all dead. You can probably push mid with your ribbon. Or bot. Go bot, go bot, go bot. No, I can't push. Yeah, can't push. Just push the wave. Riven gets mid at least. The Kiana, they're all spawning now, so... Even though you do have Elder, I think... Try not to die. Yeah. They should die if I ult them. 
I mean, they definitely should. It's just, there's just three of them now. I mean, if they, yeah, if they disrespect, then you can kill. Oh. Oh, nice. Ooh, run, I run, survived run. that. I think more is coming. Okay, they're not coming. It's just him. Do I just take farm now so I can, yeah, you can just buy my item? I mean, you can build. Yeah, like, to be honest, base and just build, just build um the the book, the upgrade to your dark sale. No, upgrade your dark sale. Oh, Medjays. Yeah, go because the game is about to end, so just go Medjays and buy the blue pot. So we're just well, gonna end, we're just gonna end the game now. The game is gonna end. You don't know this elo. <laughs> they will like play for twenty minutes more now, cause it's fun yep. and stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's I. Simple. Yeah, and you are versing a cell as well, so that guy kind of stops you from ending the game. No, but Darkseal is still good for the move speed. You can probably get Baron, maybe. Just go Baron, go Baron, go Baron. Make it safe. Oh, kill this guy. Trolling. Can chase him, I think. Or maybe not. Go Baron. Would just go Baron. Yeah, yeah just ping Baron, ping Baron. Make your team I come here. I can't ping anymore. That is sometimes the issue. They have vision on us, so I guess. Kill them. Nice ult. Keep fighting, you're strong. Oh! Oh, close. Back to Baron, back to Baron. Oh, nice. Okay, maybe mid. I don't know what's going on in this. Okay, okay go Baron. <laughs> I don't know either. That's why I always think I suck at macro because I don't know what's happening. But I mean, I think you kind of sometimes you have to kind of devolve into the yeah into the chaos. But as long as you're the one not dying, it's fine. And what's this guy doing? Okay, now we can end the game. So push top. Just push. The thing. The thing about Loila is that. Obviously, everyone plays for kills because it's fun, but yeah. kills don't end the game. Towers do, and objectives. So we're just gonna push top solo, and I we're think not gonna kill. I started playing Shaco because you can split push. I just them. couldn't win games, and then I just started killing them. So. I mean, killing them does win you the game as well because it makes you. Well, I lost a lot of games with like 30 kills. Just because I couldn't do anything. Yeah. I guess it's my bad visit when I play like a shit champ, but. I mean, the thing is, like. You could say that Dragon Soul, you playing for all these dragons, kind of won you guys the game. Like, I'm gonna say that because. Yeah. With all this fighting. Okay, this guy's. Oh, nice. That was a really good stun. I like how you held your stun there for his E. That was very good. Um, I didn't even think about it. It's just like in my in the back of my mind, I guess, to wait for this. But I don't know how Kiana works, to be honest. <laughs> I know she dashes a lot, and then she somehow bursts me. But yeah. I think Dragon Soul is definitely an easy way to win the games in this elo but also even any any elo it's like dragon soul is just guarantees you the win kind of thing yeah. good read for me i guess but i can just buff minions right yeah and it's over nice that was a pretty good game i think your um my initial thoughts is that i think your mechanics and your champion mastery is good and I can see how you know getting into jungling again is kind of your goal because yeah I can see that your mechanics are good but things like the awareness stuff is kind of you know what getting into jungling again is yeah. all about yeah so I'm, I think we can definitely look at that and I have some you know, I can give you some training drills I think to help with that mm -hmm. That's good. Um, okay, so we're just going to review the game now. I have some notes, but I was mostly watching the game, but I'm 
kind of remember the main things I want to talk about. Yeah. So I, will, I, will the I will stream you my... I recorded it, so okay, I'll stream perfect. you my... Stream it back. Like 3 a.m. Stream, so. Oh. 3 a.m. Okay, so um, let's go back to the initial talk that we had around, you know, what your mindset should be coming into um, this game uh, with these champions specifically. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about the fact that, um, let's pause on this screen. We talked about the fact that let me get this epic pen out. So we talked about the fact that the bot lanes are not going to be very relevant in this game um, because just because of the nature of this top, this top side here. Um, a mage top, the reason that it's never played is because it can easily die to ganks. Yeah. And we also have Yone versus Kiana. So these are going to be the most important things that when you come into a game that you look at, like what is the most important lane that I need to use my extra tempo after I full clear? So that's the mm -hmm. first thing that you should think about as, you know, as a jungler when you're loading in or even when champions get locked in, what is the most important lane in this game? Yeah. And so, yeah, as we concluded, mid and top, and so I think your clear was good. So that little, that little hiccup okay. on Raptors, which is fine. Yeah. I have done the same. I'm not gonna lie. I mostly uh, just fail it on the wolves because I'm too stupid to queue the second time on the big wolf. And I just queue one small one. You mean the because because they block it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just click I know one. What you're talking about. Oop, I want too much. But then yeah. Most of the time it works. And so the thing that I'm going to, a little training thing, and I'll, we'll go over it in practice tool after, because I think this is the biggest thing from this game. Like the biggest thing right now that you need to improve upon to become a better jungler is just your map awareness of what is going on around the map so that you can react because your mechanics are good, but your awareness is needs a little bit of help. Yeah. So, sure. when, so when we're clearing, um, you don't have to look or make your clear get interrupted so, you know, I don't want you to mess up your clear because you're looking at lanes. Mm -hmm. But especially timings where, for example, so after we kill this wolf, right here, I want you to look at mid and top with your camera. Okay. To because this is where you're going to pod towards. And so even though we probably aren't going to stop full clearing because we're playing brand, and that's kind of our win condition, our champion identity, we full clear very fast, so we want to abuse that. But it's just yeah. to have an idea of, oh, okay, what's going on in these lanes? Um, you know, is my mid trading a lot? We can see his HB bar, but that's the only thing. We can see that he's pushing. But we want to see more. And mm -hmm. that'll help you make decisions much, much, much easier because you'll have that information. So every time we kill a camp, we look top here. Just quickly. Yeah. Here again, when we're walking here, popping a pot, looking top. What's going on? Is this because right now I don't know? Like, can we dive this guy? Is the minions there? Is he low? Because Riven's low, so I'm assuming maybe, maybe yeah. Aurelian Soul is low. I'm always so, afraid to dive in my games because I feel like no one can actually dive. That is true. Knows how to dive. Yeah, that's true. But the thing is, if you were coming here and this guy is literally like one HP, yeah, of course you're just gonna walk over and kill him, right? So we don't want to take risky yes. plays because we don't want to mess up our game. But if it's like a guaranteed play, which is in the only plays I'm ever going to tell you to go for, we want to yeah. be aware of it. And so we also know that the fiddle showed... So I skipped back a bit. We also know that the fiddle showed here. So now we can kind of track the fiddlesticks much easier. And so I'm telling you to walk into his blue side. But one thing to note here is that... Do you see the mid lane? 
Yeah. So just watch watch the Kiana in this mid lane. So she disappears. And she will be able to move like this, right? To mm -hmm. you. So what you can do here in these situations is because the enemy mid has priority and also a Sol is going to move to you easy as well because he can walk like this and maybe yeah. he can walk like this. And so what you can do is you can just drop a ward right here. So you just drop your ward right here and then you back up. And what that will do is you will know if Fiddlesticks, if Fiddlesticks is starting the blue, his lanes will come and help him. And while his lanes are coming to help him, your lane will push. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're yeah. basically just delaying until the enemy has wasted their priority. Yeah, I guess. So you just wanna you just wanna stall. You don't wanna fully commit to any fight right now. Mm -hmm. Because look at look at what's happening. The ASOL and the and this guy is moving straight here. So the fiddle yeah. should take this fight right now. So as soon as you see yeah. this, that's why I told you, run straight up into the ASOL and maybe you guys can kill the ASOL together. Yeah. Just from just because of the fact that this guy is here, this guy is here. We can pop ghost and instantly go on this guy. I would never assume Riven will move because I don't assume either from of my you experience they don't. Yeah, I don't. Any. I don't assume that either of your lanes are going to move either, but mm -hmm. that will actually be irrelevant to like what I'm like. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not telling you to rely on anyone. I'm just saying that you drop a ward here. Yeah. You go back here. If they move, you respect. If they and then once the Kiana shows back mid, then you can come back in, and yeah. maybe he will be on blue, maybe that he will be sense. on Gromp, and then you can kill him. So it's just about dropping this this ward in six seconds. Yes. So that's the first point here. But yeah, we re we react, so we still have to run here, right? Because just that little thing about the map awareness, about that them mm -hmm. moving. We really have to be whenever we're going for invades or anything like that. We really have to notice the map i would even suggest maybe even making your map bigger to be honest but that's completely preference i had it bigger before but then i tried to sl uh, slowly make it, make smaller, it smaller again yeah. i mean i even think my again. i even think my map might be bigger but i'm not sure i value yeah, awareness especially as jungle very 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 mm -hmm. very important it's very high yeah sure. on importance so you played this this, this was good you know, not noticing that the Yone is coming here. And so we can get one kill. And then obviously Yon his E makes him snap back, right? So as soon as this timer yeah. here, I don't know if you, s you know the timer. As soon as this timer is running yep. out, we need to... You know, because we don't have flash, so maybe they could have turned on you here, but... Just be a bit wary, and then... This was good. Fiddle walks in for some reason. Your awareness here was good because you noticed Fiddle. I think you saw him here, yeah. But if we had died when that when those two moved, that could have been really bad, right? Because we wouldn't have got any of that. Yeah, sure. And so parting out, we're gonna do the same thing. As soon as we see that our Grump is gone, so as soon as we see that this is gone, we don't care about anything bot side anymore because we have to assume this is gone. We have to s assume that he's took this. Yeah. And also Kiana again, the same thing. He has, he can move here, right? Yeah. And this guy's like one HP. So as soon as this is gone, we don't care. We just straight wolves, this, this, back to here. Or top gank. And this is good that Kiana was wasting time here as well. Yeah, she was like super greedy all the time. You still got this. You still got the wolf, which was good. And you see another thing how we don't... I mean, you you could go back to blue here. It wouldn't be that bad. But I, I think like what you were talking about before, the cycling of the camps. Mm -hmm. I think this is more important than going back to blue here. Because blue is only just spawning now. And look, you're already finishing the raptors. So this was correct to skip the blue. You already have a blue as well, so. Again here, so while you're in between camps, so you're clearing this, you're clearing this, and then as soon as this dies, I want you to look top right now again. 
with your camera and mid. Yeah. Look at these two situations. I so think I just have to rebind my camera keys because I'm way too slow if I'm using the F keys, but I'm not sure on which other key I have to the thing, Well, the thing that I have done in my situation is I've actually rebinded the F keys to Z, X, and C. So if you want to like mess around with any kind of... It will take some time to get used to at the start, for sure. And yeah. I know you don't have to use F keys, but I know plenty of players who just click, 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 you know. It's also fine, yeah, that's what I do most of the time, but I feel like it's slow. Yeah, I mean, me. I, I definitely prefer F keys because it's just instant. You know, I have yeah. Z as my top, X as my mid, and C as my support. So it's just instant. I know exactly what's happening on the map all the time. Yeah, like, fuck ADC because... <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't have ADC, yeah. I only care about my support for jungle. Yeah. And so, yeah, we, we need to know what's happening here around these times because there is a there is a potential that we get off this, right? We get off this camp and we walk around here and we get a free kill. Yeah. So, very, very important. And so, the reason why I said to part to his topside camps here is because if Fiddle says, if it says right now Fiddle has slain the dragon, then mm -hmm. this is yours, right? Yeah. But if, if it says Fiddle has not slain the dragon, then that means he's probably just clearing up. Like normally. Yeah. So these are, these are the kinds of things that you want to think about. Okay, if he does this, I do this. If he shows here, that means I'm, I'm going to back off and then I'm going to get the dragon. So this is good. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is generally the ward spot that you always want to do because you see over the wall, you see the entrance to here. Yeah. So it's a good, this is a good ward. Also, like here is fine. Um, yeah, this, is, this is good. Can we back? We can, you know, we can chunk him a bit, but... This is definitely something we could like go over in five minutes later. Like, where are the best ward spots in the enemy jungle? Because yeah, I, I always want like how I feel right now. But yeah, I'll yeah, we'll do that after this review then quickly because I think it's yeah, it's quite easy. I have a website that I can just quickly show you. Oh yeah. And so this is like really good pathing because even though he does take the red. Of course, we want dragon over it, so yeah. this is fine. Fine trade, you can he can take your red, um, but then yeah, we want to instantly clear up again, and we don't want him to take this and this, right? We don't want to lose our entire red side, but we want to just, you know, just red is fine. So we do this, um, and like we said before, as brand you clear quite quickly. So I think just like this is fine, you know, like you can do this path. Yeah. I think doing this, 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 and then back is not as fast. Okay. Even though, okay. you know, your your wolves will spawn a little bit later after your grump. Because you literally one-shot yeah. the blue anyway. And most of the time, I will not be, like, on spawn on them. So Yeah, I think... I think Fiddle... Yeah, I guess it was just a bit late for the... It was a bit unfortunate that he got your, rap your raptors as well. This is fine. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah. So again here. So if we if we panned our camera here, right, to this mm -hmm. spot, we would know that. Okay, are we gonna come here and help him, or is yeah. he already dead? If he is already dead, we are taking or just looking for these camps. If he's not dead, then these camps are spawning, right? So if he's not dead, we can we can run straight into Fiddle Six Blue side, but if he's dead, we're just gonna take our camps. So that's that's where the awareness of, again comes into how you're gonna make decisions. Or maybe if he's not dead, we can take, like I said in the game, the next objective is the. Grubs. It's the um the grubs. And so we know that we're playing for that next. And you you said it in the game, but um, I think, you know. Simple pings like you assist ping the grubs and then you assist ping mm -hmm. your mid. And maybe he'll move. If he doesn't move, then, you know, do your own thing. If he does move, yeah. then you can do the grubs. So a, lo a lot of solo queue is about seeing if your teammates are actually going to, like, play the game. <laughs> yeah. If they, don't, if they don't play the game, then you just play your own game, right? It's simple. You never want to... 
be the one to die and sacrifice yourself or your team. Like, never, ever, ever do that. Yeah. It's important that you're strong before you make anyone else strong. And I think this is another awareness thing. Right here. I know you that you're kind of looking at the fight, right? Yeah. But it's like, Ribbon just died. So there's going to be no more play. There's no more play in the blue side. The only play that you can make is this and this. Mm -hmm. And you kind of have to take the yeah, rubs a bit perfect. safely too and watch where these mid laners are going. Could I ever take the grubs here because there's like the crab vision and you I can't you move around it anymore. You so just, you just, go and, just go and one shot one of them and then leave. Okay. Because they're not going to yeah. be able to react to that, right? So one shot one, yeah. leave, go back to your red or your krugs, then, you know, do your krugs and go back to them. Kill another Would one. Would it ever be worth to go around and like lose, use the blast cone? No, no. I think I've, it's I've just coached, too slow. I've coached people that do this. It's all about being fast. So you always want to be efficient. Yeah. You want to kill this, kill this, then you can come back to this. Okay. Yeah. Fast, 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 fast. We always want to be doing, you know, the most efficient thing. And yeah, so this just wasn't a time to invade because, yeah, the solar lanes could move on you. And now here, out of base, we um, have not much to do. Gromp is spawning in 20. And so the, this is also, like, I'm going to quickly cover. These kinds of mistakes is also a little bit of a butterfly effect where, you know, you probably could have cleared this. You would have been spawning right now out of base. And then maybe there's a play bot because there's nothing else to do until yeah. Gromp spawns. I see. So this is also having a butterfly effect on the next part of the game. So now it's like, it's awkward, right? Because now we're like pathing to grubs, which are dead. And we should assume grubs yeah. are also dead because they were just topside. Yeah, sure. So grubs are dead. We want to make a play here. Yes. And also our Yone was on bot side. Our grump is spawning. So he makes a play. I make another play on the other side. Is how you want to think about it. Ever a world where I just gamble on fiddlesticks being like bad at jungling and never taking the grubs? There's no at world, if you want to improve, there's no world where you like gamble on yeah. not 100% plays. I think it's better that okay. you assume that he's a human <laughs> and that he takes this. But even if he doesn't yeah. take, take this, right, it's still better to part here because you're going to make I a play here. And then you're going to clear again. And then you can take this again. If he yes. doesn't take it. So it's still the more guaranteed play just to path out to bot side. Even pathing out to his red side here. Right? Because he's... Yeah. You know he clears like this. And now you know that he's probably here or here. If he shows here for some reason, then again, you know that the grubs are not gone. So then you can take mm -hmm. them. So it's all about making that counter punch. But yeah, this round wasn't very good because now we're kind of, you know, we're a bit like, oh, like, where are we going? At least the crab is up, which is nice. And then you're up to spawn. So it's not too bad, to be honest. Again here, like, when you're walking, look mid. Look mid, look mid, look mid. Because they're fighting. That could have been your kill again here. So as soon as you use your entire combo as well on the crab, you bet. It's going to die, then you have nothing to do, yeah. So just look around. Fortunately, he kills him solo, which is good. And now the next objective we're playing for is Dragon. So clearing all like this is fine. Something that you can do, like that I told you to do, I mean, maybe you could have based here for boots. That's one play. Because you really have nothing to do right now, so basing for boots is not bad. Yeah. But also another play just making sure that your bot lane has the push. So blocking this counter here was really, really good. Like, yeah, it allowed your bot lane to play however they wanted, which was really good. So sometimes before objectives spawn, you can kind of play for like vision to help your lanes push their lanes so they have prior, so then they can move to you to dragon. Things like that is something to think about when like you have nothing else to do. So when is the ideal time to be at an objective? Because I've heard like 
90 seconds before it, I heard like one minute, uh, I've heard 40 seconds. The higher ELO that you get, the more it kind of hits a threshold, which I would say it's around one minute. So like at the highest level, if you watch like LCK, LPL, EU, LCS, you'll see, you'll see them start setting up a minute, maybe a minute and a half, but usually around a minute. Yeah. Um, but I think in your ELO, don't even think about setup because, uh, you know, you probably ideally 20 to 30 seconds if you have, but okay. you want to do other, th other things more. Like if you had camps up to here, I wouldn't tell you to, yeah. you know, I'm thinking like Walk already a step ahead because my girlfriend is playing support and then I can just force her to like take vision on Drake at this time. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You can just say you say like after you clear down, you say, Okay guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna full clear all my camps, dragon spawning in fifty seconds or whatever it is. Yeah. Let's and then you wanna group up with her here, right? You wanna group up with her here, walk in, get maybe vision of this, pink ward here. Yeah. And that's how like you kinda get the control. And so the vision, the reason why the setup is important is because when they walk in, that's when you want to, you know, throw your abilities on them because they're going to be walking in yeah. blind. But yeah, like I said, again, I, I really like that you pull out dragon. It's a very, very, it's a very good habit to have. Because yeah. even in like professional games, you see people, I remember watching, I don't know what the team is, the team that um, Bo plays for, maybe it's Vitality, I don't know, no, it's the new one. Anyway, I they were know. they were playing they were playing a dragon fight and I just couldn't even believe what I was watching. It was like they were all just sitting <laughs> in pit. Yeah, it was really bad. Yeah. Okay. Like I stole so many drags that I will always pull it out just. And yeah, that... I'm afraid of someone flipping it. Yeah. Okay, so after this is something I think that's important. I, I think I'm gonna end kind of the vod soon because I think this is like enough to take in. So maybe this will be my last point. Maybe I'll skim through the last things. Whenever we take an objective, we have to assume that now the enemy will be able to make a counter play because we just used all of our tempo. So your team used all their tempo to push these lanes, to take drag, and even though they didn't even help you. We have to assume now that the enemy is about to make like kind of like a counter play onto you because yes. you just used all your tempo for dragon. Now they have free time to do something. And so, I don't know if we saw Kiana. We didn't see... Oh, yeah, we did see her. So, right here. This should already be, like, a blaring alarm to you. Like, like careful. Because the Fiddlesticks and Kiana here and their support is walking in. Yeah. So, I think already, like, you're kind of kiting it. Um, which is good. But as soon as you see her here, you kind of just have to, like, instantly... Give Did you up. waste any clicks here? Yeah. Just don't even don't even turn around. Don't even click. Because maybe a better player kills you there. Maybe he combos better. I think this guy's just like boosted oh. a bit. Yeah, definitely. So awareness <laughs> awareness is another thing here. That's that you must be aware of. And is there a world where I go cooldown boots on brand? Like on support brand? Mm, uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I feel like if you're if you have a lot of magic damage on your team, maybe. But I think mostly brand wants to build socks. But if you have like a lot of magic yeah. damage, I think support brand could go that. Okay, and, and so if I like base and have not enough gold for socks, build something else. Yeah. Just no, no, no. Or build, like build socks. Build socks. Okay. Um, and yeah, I had a point here as well. It's like, it's the same thing about the awareness, when to do camps, when to not do camps. So when you look at this situation, so we were talking about it here, right? So when you see this picture, if after he kills this minion, he walks up to hit this tower or to kill this guy, you yes. immediately run to cut them off and kill them. If after this minion, they back out, then you take your camps. Does that make sense? Yes. So you want to be watching this. You want to be watching these guys like a hawk. And would I go around the wall or like straight on them on around my the side of? Around the wall, like this. I mean, if they're already diving like past here. Yeah, but they're diving. Obviously. Then you just go here. But yeah, you want to you want to make sure that you get the kills. So still watch, still watch. Okay, it looks like he's backing. Keep watching. Keep watching. 
because this guy's staying here. Lucian is like saying, okay, I'm going to back, but then this guy is staying here. Keep watching. Keep watching. And so this, this picture right here, you should have immediately parked here and tried to kind of like blast cone behind them. Yeah. See, and he eaten. Right here, he eaten. You can see it. So even if you started the camp just then and you see him Ian, you still go. Just catch it. Yeah, maybe it's a bit hard because they're kind of making a fast play, but it's just all about being ready. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, mechanics. You're, I can. I can. Like I said, I can. T I can tell that you have some champion mastery, but. Pairing that with some good map awareness, you'll instantly like become like, you know, Better. you'll see how much like more you see and how much more opportunities that there are. Yeah. And we already know about this one. We just think about the objective after the chunk. I think this maybe was just a miscalculation because this guy's like super tanky. And I'm going to quickly skim through to see if there's any major things. Is that I think that's the main thing I want to talk about. Then I want to talk about wards. And I want to kind of see... I kind of want to put you in a practice tool and kind of get you used to clicking lanes. Like just, just as a... Mm -hmm. As a... You know, a practice. Yeah. So yeah, we'll go over... We'll just go over wards now. So I think there's this good tool that I use the... I think it's the. I forgot what it's called. I use it. I <laughs> Riff kit. I've, I remembered. Okay. So let's just pretend we are uh, like that game. Yeah. Um, this ward spot is good, like we said. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the scenarios are going to be different. You know, if you're looking to invade his red or take his red, these kinds of wards are good. Um, if you're looking to use your ward level one, so like, say you, say you want to start blue this game and you kind of want to find out where he's starting, this ward is good. This is yeah. a ward that I do like a lot of games. The raptors, so it'll it'll cover the raptor and the, uh, like it'll cover your mid lane and it'll show him when he takes raptors, so you'll be able to track him. Um, you know, for your and how do I get there, like on level one? Because most you of the time they were guard here, right? Yes, that's a good point. You want to just ping your team, ping, 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 Come ping. Ahead. Just walk in together, drop the ward. Um, well, then you I said have to trap them not to engage because they will always take the fight. <laughs> if they see I mean, the there. thing, the thing about the thing about that is like your team is bad, but also the enemy team is bad. So if you guys are grouped, it's more likely that you're gonna win. Does that okay. kind of make sense? <laughs> like yeah. group, like power in numbers kind of thing in in this yeah. kind of... And for your comp games, I don't know if you want to think about this, but like, you know, the pink wards like this. Oh, this is the old map. I just realized. Yeah, it is. Huh. Anyway, um, yeah, always kind of pink wards. The way you want to use pinks is kind of either in river defensively so on your yeah. side as well. Or you want to use them sneakily. So dropping sneaky wards like uh, where people don't usually look. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think what those are like the main ones. What was that, sorry? How much pink wards should I buy? Or you just like buy them before objectives, whenever you have some spare gold, I would say to buy them. Not first base, never first base. Mm -hmm. But you know when objectives start spawning, especially in 5v5, it's important. So if you're playing 5v5 with your friends, they're like... It does help out a lot. I'm always afraid if I'm like playing the carry jungler, I don't want to waste any no, gold. Seventy-five gold is not. It's the value you is worth. Yeah. Okay. The more people on your team that buy pinks, the better. Like if you have five pinks on the map always, you'll see it's like map hacks. Yeah. Um. Okay. And also like this ward. 
And so for the blue side, it's kind of like, you know, mirrored. Same thing. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. So jump in a practice tool. I want you to do that clear again, but every time in between, I want to see you either click or just kind of try and think about ways that you can improve your awareness. I even if that's, you know, um, after the session, you figure out, okay, these key bindings work for me. Yeah. You know, just kind of find something that works for you. It may it may take you know some experimenting, but this this will level up your game a lot. Oh, I don't have skins. Have a second. I forgot. I need to buy one. The brand skin. What's your favorite brand skin? Zombie brand. Yeah, definitely. But I don't have it. Like a little bit annoying. I have the what's it called? Battle Boss brand. I oh, guess yeah. that one's okay. It's not. It's, it's and no like zombie. The OG. Brand, uh, Vandal brand I'm using. Okay. Oh, I, I think I used that skin the other day, actually, by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I still want the zombie brand. If I get can get my hands on it, like, somehow. Yeah, that skin is too good. So, I used practice tool that. Oh, here it is. Can't I just skip time somehow? I can only fast forward, right? Yes. Yeah, oh wait, you are sharing. Okay, hang on. Um, yeah, you can fast forward thirty, but what's the time right now? I might go over it. Yeah. No, yeah, I did. Let me just wait it. And so, like the best junglers, like probably I don't know, Grant. Like, I'm not gonna say that Master Tier is even good, but you know, Challenger <laughs> junglers will look at lanes every single time, like they're like auto attacking, you know. But I think it's not necessary. It's more necessary in between camps. You know, when you see icons but start I can't clashing. I can't do right now, right? Because I have, I don't have any players. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't. You'd have to be in a in bot game. So, you, do you think F keys is better for you, or do you think clicking is better? I'm not sure. But I think this is probably something I'm going to leave it to you in your own kind of to yeah. figure out, and then you can get back to me on it. Yeah, I mean that's. That's great. If you see like two icons clashing and you do that, it's great. I fucked that up. And it will, it probably at the start will cost you a bit of brain power, right? So the same way I'm talking to you and it's cost, it like, it kind of costs you brain power listening. For example, you know, we only have yeah. so much brain power to use, but once you do it a lot, like anything, it'll just become natural. And that's what you want to achieve. So right here, when you're walking across, look at look at the lanes. Yeah. Exactly in those in those timings, and also like remind yourself to do it. But yeah, it's not an easy it's not an easy thing to just just pick up. It seems easier said than done. I will definitely admit. Yeah, I have to get used to it. Already made like. Three or four mistakes in the clear, I guess. Still, it's still, you know, your clear is still, you're still brand. Yeah. I still want to get it done at like 3.05. Yeah, it's good. That's good to Just strive to flex for. on people. No, th I mean, to be honest, if you're playing brand, I would put your, uh, what is it, your focus towards your clear number one. It's the looking at lanes is kind of just the extra. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like, yes. you want your clear to be 305, number one priority, because you're most likely going to full clear anyway, right? Yeah. Whereas on champions like Jarvan, maybe, it becomes a yeah. lot more important to look around for, yeah. you know, things that are happening. I feel like when I'm playing Shaco, I will also, like, look way more because I can greed for everything. Yeah. I mean, it also could be that, you know, Brand's clear is kind of more important probably more in like you kind of have to focus even i when i play brand i kind of have to focus to make sure i do the clear properly because there is a yeah. skill to it um but yeah i think when i play brand i probably only kind of look when you know i'm walking between camps okay i see and 
what's more important than just looking is thinking like what's going to happen next. Like once I finish Krugs, what's my play going to be thinking in advance? Like these are really things that jungling is what separates good and you know great junglers. I still have to play Grand more, I guess, because I just spam Xin like the last few days, so yep. I have to get used again to clearing with Grand. Yeah, I think I played a Brand game the other day and I was a bit like, oh, this has been a while, this is new. Yeah, definitely feel it. But yeah, test around with some like custom key bindings as well. Like, for example, I have ZXC. You could have anything that yeah, is comfortable for your hand. Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh, that new. Um, yeah, what else? I'll send you some kind of personalized notes. Yeah. Perfect. We have five minutes left in the session, so we'll keep talking about. And I'll send you some. Just the main focuses that don't want to overload. I think I, I like that you immediately mute, muted the the chat when you saw something that yeah. was just annoying. I think that is the best kind of mentality to have. Keep the chat on. By all means, if you want to uh, if you want to have some fun and the all chat is there, I I'm not going to be against that. Yeah, definitely. I will banter with them a lot, but if I think they're like stupid or annoying, I will just mute them. Most of I will often just mute my own team and leave the enemy open because I like to trash talk them. But and that's a good. I think I should. I think I should copy that. I feel like in my games, not many people are like all chatting for some reason. It might be a bit more fun in gold. Yeah, you have to be like an annoying champ. Like if you're Shaco or Briar, you can just type to the enemy and then kill him immediately, and they will get so mad in low elo. It's super fun yeah. because they're just in. Afterwards. And because people hate Shaco as well, so it's all, it's like yeah, double. I love it. It's double the balance. I've heard someone say, like, you don't gank the lane, you gank their mind. Shaco, and <laughs> they are like so tilted afterwards. I mean, to win the game by tilt that. Tilting people is probably definitely a. a it's definitely a. Uh, a factor. A factor, yeah, for sure. Yeah. To say that it's not like mental warfare, it's like. It's the same I as... I think in higher elo, or like in the highest elo, it won't work, but... In, in the like... highest elo, it kind of depends, because sometimes when you really have a grudge against someone, like, that can also get in your head. I've had plenty... Yeah, definitely. I've had plenty... Because the thing is, you see the same people all the time, right? So it's like, yeah. oh, I gotta beat that guy. And then if he says something to you, it's like, you know, your whole world, your ego is, like, completely destroyed, and then he wins the game, and then yeah, he says jungle yeah. diff, and then it's like, oh, okay, jungle gap. So what do you say is like the best champs next patch? I haven't. I I'm, gonna, say. I'm gonna do a, a big um view, uh, review of the next patch. Oh, yeah, so perfect. I'll keep you. I'll probably release something on the Discord about what I think yeah. and what the strongest champions are and all of that. Because I wanted to learn like some jungle champs and then I saw they will get nerfed. Like Lilia should get nerfed, right? I saw it correctly. Is there is there any patch league patch? Is it just the early it's just the early stuff that's out, right? Yeah, yeah. But I saw something for like fourteen point three. Fourteen point three, yeah. Um I'll have a look. I haven't actually looked at fourteen three yet, because I, I kinda just wait until it's like hundred percent confirmed to be released. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Um But yeah, you will I'll do another tier list on 14.3, because if there's a lot of big changes, then I know, yeah, that, so I know that some items are getting nerfed, like Collector for yeah. Graves and stuff like that. A Collector sucks that it gets nerfed. A yeah. Briar or stuff like that, it was so disgusting. For Graves as well, yeah. I mean, Graves yeah. is always going to have a build path, I think, because he can just go like Hubris, or he can go like... You know, well, I just suck on Graves. I have to train him more. Yeah, I kind of, I, I kind of removed Graves from my champ pool because I just realized that he's just why I play Graves when I can just, I play Graves when I want to have fun, you know. It's like, yeah, he's that champion. 
I don't really have that much know. success in the highest elo because I just verse like Zin Zhao. And it's just like, why am yeah. I playing Graves when I could play Zin? Zin is so strong. I like so that you've fun. been doing the lethal tempo. Yeah, I just saw it on like your Discord somewhere and then I tried it out and instantly went like <laughs> against these yeah. somewhere here. Yeah, here I switched to it and then I had this game, it was quite, oh you can't see it. <laughs> so I'm it's looking like at your, I, am, I am looking at your match history though already. Yeah. This one. And then I just started spamming it. Quite fun. Yeah, I think my conclusion on it is I think Conqueror is better sometimes, but I think when you're versing like when you want to play really aggressive early game, so if you want to ever invade yeah. early, if you want to get really active early game, I think Lethal Tempo is really good, but yeah, you know, late, late, late game, Conqueror is, Conquer is better late game. Probably yeah. after like two items, Conqueror starts outscaling. But until then, but Lethal is like good. so insane. Yeah, but by that time as well, you should be strong. Yeah, that's true. But then I should go Conqueror and low elo because the games take longer, right? Uh, well, you could also say that the game the players are worse so you're gonna fight more and you're gonna win more skirmishes and stuff like that so i think snowballing True. is more important than scaling yeah because you if already I think i'm gonna invade i will just take little tempo anyway yeah so I, whenever i best like i don't know i best like brand i'll just take it and then i'll just invade him because i know he wants to full clear things yeah. like that just kill him True. okay well keep me updated um on the yeah. tell me about like the f key situation and then if you need any more advice um, I'll send yeah, you some notes and yeah, keep keep telling me about what's going on. Yeah, with games. I think I will just uh, see if I need coaching again in like a month to yep. just have a comparison on how much I have improved, yep. stuff like that. Um, I have this session recorded as well, so let me know if you want to, you know. Oh yeah, that would be great. Send that back to I you. Did. Yeah. Would be um, awesome. It's the game and the replay. Yeah, perfect. And yeah, I'll I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, perfect then. Thank you very much. No worries. And you will hear from me again, I guess. Yep. All right, bye-bye. And yeah, see you. Bye-bye.